Hey guys, it's Kelly Powers with Brewing Perspective. How are you doing today? This is outside. It's a little windy out here, so I hope you guys hear me okay. Hey, as you're watching this, please make sure you hit that like button. Please subscribe and make sure you leave a comment on this video after it's done, okay? Hey, my Catholic friends out there, and let me be very clear, I'm doing this video because I care. This is not an attack, a slander, a jab, whatever. This is based on a lot of conversations I've had online recently and, of course, over the years. A lot of my upbringing back in the day, my former stepmom, she's Sicilian. I always make the joke if there was a movie called The Godmother, she would have been in it because she was Sicilian and she'll take care of business. All righty then. So she was very, very, very Sicilian and Roman Catholic, let me tell you. So I grew up with a lot of this when I was growing up. Now, I was not one, but I've been around it, friends done my research, talked to people online, talked to many people, so I'm not unfamiliar with it. I don't know everything, of course, right? But what I've been learning lately, lately, get that? What I've been learning lately, lately, as the wind picks up now, can you guys get that? Woo! Is that a sense of the Holy Spirit here? Woo! Let's get some Pentecostals out there. Yo, what's happening? All righty then. All right, all serious inside here. When I've been talking to Catholics lately, lots of things, talking about purgatory, are we justified by faith, or is it by works, whatever else, lots of things. There's two things I've been noticing lately that I think that are really important to really think about, if you're a Catholic, and why. First off, in the, in the New Testament. All right, you believe that Jesus called Peter to be your Pope, the rock, right? Bam, boom, let's get it, let's just throw it on out there, right? Oh, okay. So he's the rock, he's the Pope, okay? Okay, fair enough. Is that if, if that's what Jesus really taught, answer me this. In any of the places in the book of Acts, any places of Peter's epistles, does he ever teach this? Does Peter ever teach this stuff? Did we ever see it coming from John, Paul, James, Jude, any of those guys? Anywhere? Do we see any kind of indication that Peter's over the whole church in the New Testament? Can you dig it? What I'm trying to say is, where do we see this being taught by Peter? Where do we see this being taught by Paul? Where does he be taught by John, Jude, James? We don't see it. So this is important. Now, another thing that happens to me is, so often I hear this talking to different people who are of the Catholic Church, right? Some guy just big bike went by, almost rammed me, but he was on that side. That was pretty cool. He just kind of did a really cool thing. It was on video. Would have been awesome. All right. Talking to many Catholics, even like people that have debated, people like William Albrecht, the one and only, the famous, woo, Sammy Buffet, Sammy Shamoon, right? He's really not Catholic, but he wants, he's a, he's a wannabe Catholic, right? But the point is, others, guys, here and there, um, talking to different people, a lot of times what they say is, well, wait a minute. This stuff's universal. It's all accepted by all the church fathers, right? You know, it's all about the church fathers, right? No, don't believe that. That's no, not the case. Now, some things might be more universal than others, but don't take that blue pill, okay? Challenge that. Apostolic fathers, talking first century, second century, before any creeds or any councils later on. Which apostolic, quote-unquote, church father in the first couple centuries taught that Peter was this Pope over the whole church. Can you give me a reference? Just one. And you. Woo! A little bit of Holy Spirit there. I caught it. I caught the vibe. I'm going to keep it going. How you doing? You guys all right out there? I'm keeping it going. All right. Now, one verse. New Testament. Nowhere. One reference. Apostolic Fathers. I, I challenge any of you guys out there. And you Catholic apologists provide something that teaches that Peter is this vicar, this over the church, this pope, first couple of centuries. I haven't found it. Now, if you find it and you pull the rabbit out of the hat, you, my friend, as Doc Holliday would say, you're a daisy. But it's not there, right? So what is that? That tells me something that this teachings of this magisterium that's come over time what is it? Traditions of men. Not Bible. Not Bible. Okay? Now, are there sometimes things in the Bible that are tradition? Of course. 
Tradition is not always a bad thing, but this is a pretty big doctrine, wouldn't you agree? Yet we don't see this being taught by the apostles, so therefore what I'm trying to say is, if this was truly what Jesus taught, my hair is now, look at me, I'm a wild man, whoa! If this was truly taught by Jesus, right? Why don't we see it being taught by Peter? Why don't we see it in the book of Acts? Why don't we see it being taught by Paul? or John, or James, or Jude, or any of the first couple of centuries apostolic fathers. I don't know of any. Let's go a step farther, as the wind is now picking up. All right, now we're getting some, we're getting some, some Pentecostal power out here. Good thing my last name is Powers, right? Hallelujah, amen. I'm having a fun day. Is that okay? I'm having fun. I hope you guys are all right. Make sure you like this video, okay, and share it, okay? And leave a comment, and subscribe. And send me a taco in the mail, okay? All right. Well, maybe not in the mail. All right. Mariology. This has been a big thing on my channel lately, talking to Catholics, right? Where did Jesus teach Mariology? I've had some challenges to different people online. Haven't found a single one yet that could pull up, pull the rabbit out of the hat. Jesus did not teach the Marian doctrines. Paul did not teach the Marian doctrines. Peter didn't teach the Marian doctrines. John didn't teach the Marian doctrines. James didn't teach the Marian doctrines. Jude didn't teach the Marian doctrines. Marian doctrines. Nowhere in the New Testament. Now guess what? Drum roll. Ready? Apostolic fathers. Listening? Mm. Apostolic fathers. Which one? First century, second century, up to the three hundreds. Three hundreds before. Which apostolic father taught? praying to Mary. Which one? Which one of them taught that she was a mediatrix? Which one of them taught that she was a perpetual virgin? Which one of them taught the assumption of Mary? I'm holding down the fort here. It's getting windy. Which one of them taught these essential quote-unquote Marian doctrines? And remember, there's two of them that are considered dogmas. The Immaculate Conception and the Assumption of Mary. These are two dogmas in the Catholic Church, right, that are considered salvific. They are salvific. If you deny these doctrines according to what their teachings teach, you will receive the wrath of God. Well, that doesn't sound good. So you would think, you would think if these were doctrines were true, right, you would think if these doctrines were true, It'd be somewhere taught by Jesus. Can we know what the gospel is? Jesus teaches the gospel all throughout the gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We see it taught throughout the book of Acts. We read it through Paul's writings, John's writings, John, um, uh, Peter's writings, Jude's writings, James, all these guys, right? We get it. Pretty there, pretty straightforward, right? Where's Mariology? Where's Mariology? Not there. So I submit to you two things as I wrap up, and I'm getting blown away out here getting blown away. The Holy Spirit's blowing me away out here, okay? Two things. The Pope. Not biblical. Not taught by Jesus, truly. Not taught by the apostles. Not taught by the apostolic fathers about Peter. Just not there. Okay? Second thing. Woo! Woo, doggy! Second thing. Mariology. Okay? Mariology. Not taught by Jesus. Only God is without sin, right? Born this way, other than Adam and Eve. Mary did have children later. We read about that in Mark 6, Matthew 13, many other places, right? She wasn't born without sin. For all of sin falls short of the glory of God. It says in Ecclesiastes 7.20, there's not one righteous person in the whole planet of the earth who continually does good and never sins. We know that. Only God is without sin, right? No teachings of the Assumption of Mary. No teaching of praying to Mary or even praying to saints in general. Why would you want to, When you can pray to Jesus and pray to God directly, why would you want to do that, right? And can Mary, like, hear millions and millions of people all around the world at the same time? Is she omnipresent? Omniscient? Like, is she given that kind of authority? No. In short, Mariology is idolatry. It really is. And I think this is probably one of the biggest things out there that is a huge thing that needs to be addressed when talking with Catholic. If you're a Catholic listener, obviously you're listening. But if you're a Christian listening, Mariology and the issue of the Pope and authority. These are two big things. All right, so we wrap up. Where does the Bible teach Peter is the Pope? Which apostolic father 
right? First, second, second century, before the 300s. Which one taught that? Don't got it, right? Which apostle taught Peter was the Pope? Did Peter teach he was the Pope? No. Where did Jesus teach Mary, Marian doctrines or Mariology? Where did Paul teach it? John, Peter, James, Jude? Not there. Which apostolic father in the first, second century, before the 300s, again, this is important, this is very important, they say all of them, universal, didn't really start taking place until the mid 300s, mid 300s, and the 400s afterwards. That's when these things really started changing. All right, before I get raptured out of here, even though I believe in the post trip, but if I get raptured out of here, Lord bless you guys, and if you're still here, well, you've been left behind. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's not good. Anyway. Um, Lord bless you guys. Please like this video. Leave a comment. Please subscribe. And if I get taken up like Elijah, well, I'm going to be flying for Jesus. Lord bless you. Have yourself a great day. Talk to you later.